An update tonight to a story WKBN has been following for several weeks. There's still little explanation why the Mahoney County Board of Developmental Disabilities forced former Superintendent Larry Duck to resign with a taxpayer funded severance package. First News has been asking board members why so much tax money was spent on his paid suspension and the negotiated settlement. But as 27 Investigates reporter Amanda Smith explains, they've refused to provide records that we believe the public has a right to see under Ohio law. 27 Investigates is pushing for answers in a series of official requests to the MCBDD. The board is keeping the most important parts of Larry Duck's personnel record secret, and they're refusing to release documents that should be available to the public. There's no specific exemption in the law for personnel records. And as a result, records relating to um, disciplinary matters and the like presumptively are open to the public. WKBN's February 21st letter resulted in the board's lawyer giving us an incomplete personnel file. But after going through hundreds of pages of these records, I found no complaint, no negative review, and no allegation of wrongdoing. The board and its attorney say that Duck was suspended because they allege he may have revealed confidential information during a meeting. They also said that an issue was investigated by the Ohio Ethics Commission. The records we were given never mention any of this. When we requested those missing documents, board attorney Chris Samarone refused and said, these types of records are not public. The issue at hand is not just uh, why did the board spend nearly $200,000 to part way with an employee, but they spent $200,000 of public funds. Um, again, so we feel the public has a right to know, and uh, it's our role to uh, find out why and KBM will continue to fight until they release the information. WKBM management asked our legal counsel to get involved. The board brought in a new attorney, Eugene Nevada, who said those files are law enforcement investigatory records. If an agency is explicitly exempted from the coverage of the law, that doesn't mean the records created by that agency held by other government agencies are. The Ethics Commission has already said it finished investigating and found no wrongdoing. If the board doesn't release the information, the next step could involve litigation. Amanda Smith, 27 Investigates. WKBN will keep you updated on the progress as we keep pushing for answers. If you'd write, like to read all that we've been given, we've posted it online at WKBN.com. And if you'd like to write the Mahoning County Board of Developmental Disabilities about this issue, they can be reached at 4791 Woodridge Drive, Austintown, Ohio, 44515.